Hi everyone. So in this video, I want to discuss how you can send a notification from an ESP32 to your phone for free. And I've looked at some services. By the way, the, the requirement here to meet is that the service need to be free. So there are some paid services, but we want something for free. And um, we want something that is easy to use without having to develop our own, let's say API endpoint or uh, a mobile app. So I've looked at a few options. This one here, the IFTTT, this used to be free, but if you look at the plans, there is a free option. However, that free option does not include the webhook applet anymore. So I was gonna try to use this, but that's not gonna work because if I go to, let's go to explore, and then if we look for the uh, webhook, um, let's see here. This is the webhook, and here they did change that, so now it's paid. Uh, while this is a great service, it's a great website, you would have to pay for it. So again, our requirement here is to be free. I've looked at Telegram, and that is possible. So this would work because they do have a public API and it can be free, but I'm just not a Telegram user. So I kept looking for other options and that's when I stumbled on the WhatsApp. I already use WhatsApp, so I thought this might be a good option, but they do not have an easily available uh, free to use public API. So there's some work around for this, but I want something simple easy and straightforward and that's why i settled on discord discord is free they do have a public api and you can send notification to one of the discord server channels that you can even have access just for yourself and then get them on your phone and speaking of discord i have a free discord server i will leave the invitation link in the description you should definitely consider joining me there. Um, now, let me show you how to set up the Discord and also how to uh, send the notification from the ESP32 to your Discord server. So let's look at that. Okay, so we've decided to use Discord. This is the PC version or the desktop client. Uh, there is a mobile app. You can download on your phone for free, and that's how you can get the notification on your phone. Now, uh, this is my Discord server, and like I said, I will leave a link in the description if you want to join us. It's completely free. We have a couple channels here, but I'm going to add a new channel just for the ESP32 notification. So I'm going to go here under my uh, server. I'm going to select it, and then you see here, next to the text channels i'm going to add create channel click this plus sign it's going to be a text type channel and then i'm going to call it esp32 just to keep it simple i'm going to mark this channel as private so for example this will be a channel that only i can see um, if you don't want to mark it as private then everyone else can see and this discord server is pub public and that's why i'm inviting you to join me it's free and it's public for everyone so i'm not going to mark this as uh, private so everyone can see it for the purpose of this video everyone can learn and see how it works so i'm going to create this channel and you can see now i have an esp32 channel the next step what i need to do here is I'm gonna right click on my server and then under the server settings, I'm going to go to the integration section. So here under integrations, we're going to click the webhooks and we are gonna create a webhook. This webhook, we can call it whatever we want. So we can call it, let's say, uh, text passion um, ESP32, right? That should be good enough. And then, we're going to tell this webhook to post. You can see the channel selected is the general. We're going to tell it to post in our ESP32 channel. And then this is it. Now I can save the changes. And this 
webhook already created and it's ready to receive my notification from the ASP32 and place it in that channel. So I just need to copy this webhook URL over here. So I'm gonna click copy and then I'm gonna use this into my ASP32 code, which we're gonna look at next. Now I have everything working. And before I give you the code, I just wanna show you the notification that are coming from my ESP32 every 10 seconds to this Discord channel on my server. So we have the text passion ESP32 webhook posting here, and that's just receiving the post from the ESP32 every 10 seconds, and it is posting it onto this channel. And since I have the mobile app on my phone, I can also get this notification on my phone. Um, so you get the idea. Now, uh, what I want to do is just to give you the code. I simplified it and I just wanted to show you how it works. And this is all free. So let me give you the code before we summarize and sum up this video. Now everything is working. Let me go over the code. And as always, I will leave a link to my GitHub repository. If you want to copy and paste, it will be linked in the description. You can get it for free. Uh, these are just the libraries. Here is your uh, Wi-Fi name and password. And this is the webhook URL. This is the Discord webhook URL that we just created. Don't share this with anybody. Keep it to yourself. Uh, this is just a quick setup here. So to initiate the serial monitor, uh, this is the Wi-Fi connection right here. And our loop function is really simple. Uh, it's calling the send Discord notification function, and it's passing the notification as a string parameter. There is some delay here because I'm using the free API and there's some limitations. So if you don't have that delay, I don't think you can post messages uh, quickly on top of each other uh, unless you probably pay for a premium version or something. But I'm using the free version and that is one of the requirement or the goal for this video is to be able to do this for free. There are other paid services that are great, but again, the goal here is to do this for free and to get it over the phone. Uh, let's look at our uh, send Discord notification function. Again, it takes a string message and then it checks the Wi-Fi status. If we're connected to Wi-Fi, then we make that HTTP request and then we pass the message in the payload. Uh, otherwise, we just error out and we show the response. So this is the code, really simple. I will again, I'll leave it. All the links to download Discord for the code for the other services will be in the description. Also, a link to join my free Discord, which you should absolutely do. And now let's just go and uh, summarize this really quick. So, quick summary over here I settled on Discord because I'm already a user uh, and they have a free public API. Uh, you can do this with other services. Uh, like I said, WhatsApp, I did not find a free API. Telegram, I think you can do it. Uh, I'm just not a user, but I'm sure you can probably do the same thing with uh, Telegram. Uh, they do have an API, and I think you would have to do like a bot API to be able to achieve this. I did not uh, research it all the way, but I think it is possible. The uh, webhook integration on the IFTTT, uh, I think this is a great services. I've used them before. But right now, I believe it is not free anymore. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I wasn't able to do it for free. I think there is a paid version to do a webhook with the service. And if you're willing to pay, it's a great service. Maybe you can do it for free. I just wasn't able to figure it out myself. So maybe I missed something. But as far as I can tell, you would have to pay for it. Uh, the goal here was to be able to send free notification from an ESP32 to your phone for free. Um, I have uh, also a separate request where someone mentioned that they want to use it for, uh, let's say, a door alarm because I did that door alarm video over an email, but someone mentioned that to be able to send a notification to the phone. I have someone else who discussed uh, sending GPS information over Discord. Uh, so there are so many use cases, and obviously you can use it however you like. Uh, just be careful, be safe as always. The purpose of this video is just for education purposes and uh, we're just learning. So you use it however you like and be safe out there. Um, again, I will leave everything in the description. Uh, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you.